Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video and welcome back to more uh, Lunar Festival looting. Uh, so we did one a few days ago, you guys definitely wanted me to do more. Uh, so we're doing more. Um, so we're still on the Huz uh, Huzzy Cannon account because obviously I need to unlock more stuff for the Unranked Diamond series. So it just kind of makes sense monetarily. Because uh, if I'm on my main account and I get champion shards, that literally is just a waste of money. Uh, and I will say, someone very recently on Reddit did a whole thing about how worth loot boxes are uh, comparing to the average value of whatever you get. And it actually worked out, and it all proven mathematically, uh, that loot boxes, if I'm not mistaken, the specific number was, they are 137% more uh, worth of a normal skin or whatever like that. Uh, you can find the um, research on a Reddit thread yourself, but it does mean, let's say a skin is half price, that means that skin has a 200% value of what it normally is because it's half price. Uh, but on average, loot boxes are 130% value uh, of a normal skin. So that's just something to note if you are like looking into it. They are, to me, worth it if you're not looking for anything in specific. Obviously, if you're looking for one specific skin, one specific champion shard, it's not worth it. But if you're very much open to anything... I like it. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, but yeah, let's just keep her going. And uh, we will potentially do something with this silver stuff. Uh, I also have been told, uh, but I'm not sure 100% about the borders. But when it comes to the gold stuff, if you unlock one of these chroma skins, but you don't own the original... Like, say you want this golden Katarina, but you don't have Warring Kingdoms Katarina skin, which you do need, by the way, uh, you can unlock that and just have it in your loot inventory until you get Warring Kingdoms Katarina. Um, and some people also have complained that, oh, it's only a Chroma. Um, you know, why don't you get the skin for free? It's a Chroma. You know, you never have got Chromas for free um, from skin. Well, there are certain situations you do. I, do, I, well, I don't want to say that. But to me, it's, it's an extra thing. It's an extra Chroma. To me, it's fine that, you know, you need the skin. Um, sure, it would be very generous if Riot gave it for, uh, for free. But let's be honest, they give League of Legends for free, so that's kind of good enough. All right, so we've already got some nice skins, actually. Arcade and uh, Frojord Talia, which is both awesome. Build Rat Rumble, and we got a Gemstone. So that might be... Oh, no, we we already have... I, crazily, we've got Soul Steel of Vein on this account. We've already done an Unranked Diamond episode of it. Um, so I don't know if we're going to start working towards another Gemstone skin. I said last time I wasn't going to go for one on this account. We ended up getting one. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit weird. So, uh, Snow Dane and another, another gemstone. <laughs> Guys, it's happening again. Vote down below which one I should get next. And it looks like it might be happening. Boom! Revel Grab Bag. That's what we wanted. And a little Knight of Moo Moo. Uh, so, we only got one of those last time. And I've learned a little bit more about what that is about. So, I'll mention it when we open it. 15 more to go. Uh, just give it time. Cowgirl Misfortune. That is a weird splash art. So what, she's looking down and shooting you, I guess? That must be new, because I've not seen that one before. Uh, Cosmic Dawn Rakan. Like, again, like I said earlier, the, the worth percentage value of this, like, there are some... We've got some good skins. And I know they're only skin shards, obviously, but if you really want, like, one of these skin shards, like, you can easily get, like, any of the skins, which is cool. I like it. Bro, Olaf, I am actually thinking of doing an Olaf episode very soon. Probably Olaf Jungle and Top, because uh, he can work in both. So we actually might unlock that, because we can do one episode on base skin and one episode uh, with Bro, Olaf. And I always think about that in my head, because I don't want two splash arts, uh, well, two thumbnails to look very similar to each other. I do want there to be some difference, and usually that comes with what skin you use. Okay, another gemstone. Three so far. We've got more in this episode than we did in the whole last episode. Revel Orb and World Breaker Trundle. It's actually a pretty nice skin. For the price of the skin, that actually is really nice. Uh, Jessica Syndra. Uh, Festival Queen Anivia. I do want to do an Anivia episode. So again, another kiss skin I can potentially unlock. Um, Soaring Sword Fiora. Nice skin. Uh, so Sono Ran Kogmo. Scorcher, Zerath, I already have um, one of the Zerath skins from last episode. Butcher Olaf. <laughs> Fourth gemstone in one video. That's crazy. <laughs> Warring Kingdoms, Garen. Revel Orb and Flower Jord Ash. Uh, Snowbedinger, cool. 
Uh, another, hey, we get two grab bags and secret agents in Zhao. And final one is Commando Garen. So yes, this, this episode already to me has been way more worth than last episode. Uh, we got two grab bags, which will open in a second. And also we got four gemstones. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, these. Um, so basically I was under the interpretation that they were doing it per um, how they class them. So legendary, um, epic and all that. And apparently they, they don't. They're, they're valuing it on the cost of the skin. So like you can get 520 riot point skins, 975, 1350, uh, 1820. So I think that's how they're doing it, rather than legendary, epic, and, and that type of thing. So uh, that's why it's a bit weird, but yeah. So, I guess. Um, so Gladiator Draven, if I'm not mistaken, that's a 975. I might Again, I might be wrong. I, I haven't looked at skin costs in a while, but 975, I think. Uh, that might be a 520 skin. That's an 1820. That's a legendary. Uh... No idea. And epic. So that would be the like 1200 or 1300 one. So some nice skins. We'll open the next one too. Bada boing. Bada boom. Boof. Uh, prototype Victor. Panda the Devil. Pickpocket Pocket Twitch. Godfist Lee Sin. Hell yeah, dude. And Battlecast Cogmore. So really nice skins. And then as for this, I'm not really sure what to do with it. Like. Do I get one of these borders just to have eventually? Like, ugh. I don't particularly like any of these skins, by the way. I actually don't think they're that good. So I'm not sure. I'll leave it for now. You guys can let me know in the comments. Do you think I should do anything with them? Uh, and all that good stuff. And that's all this as well. Please let me know uh, what do you think I should do. Should I go for one of them again? Because we got already Soul Stealer. And also, just so as worth note, they're selling these chromas for five gemstones each when they're only one golden token. So that's also kind of interesting. Uh, all right, skins. Um, what do we want to do with skins? Uh, let's just do one reroll just to get that cleared out the way of skins that we just don't really care about. And then I've got to think, do I want to unlock any? Yay! Nice, Mecha Kha'Zix. We, we just did... A Kazix episode. I have to remember what's coming out at the right time. Um, and so that means we can do another Kazix episode with a different variant thumbnail because we now have another skin for him, which is really good. All right. So um, is there any skins I want to unlock? Again, so Brolaf is a potential because we are probably going to do an Olaf one soon. Uh, already got the Twitch. I already got a nice Zerath one. Wasn't there another one that I was like, I might unlock that? I can't even remember. I don't, well, not really. Frau Jordan. Oh, yeah, the Anivia one. Okay. Right. So let's go for... Hmm, I've got to think here. Uh, what is high in value that I can reroll? That's 970. Nine, uh, 270, I mean, sorry. 270. Is that the highest value? Yeah, so 270 is the highest value reroll we have available. So I guess we'll do like we'll use the two seventies to oh and that we've already we well we already have Godfist so I guess we'll disenchant that too. So all I got is fifteen hundred. That's a lot. Like we can get it, but I you as you guys know I like my re rolls. But let's just get the Anivia one because it's cheaper. Um, it just bug. Oh, there we go. It was bugging out. And then do we really want Brolaf? Uh, I don't know. Let's just do some rerolls. I got to think about it because I, I don't know if Brolaf is worth not doing rerolls because I, I like doing rerolls. <laughs> Hell, we might get Brolaf now. Um, let's not reroll epic ones actually now that I think of it because we might use them to reroll. Oh yeah, and we got the call key as well that we could disenchant. I guess we'll disenchant it because it's high value. What happens if I just disenchant all like the higher value ones? How much do we get? Doesn't shot her too. And uh, we do have enough if we do it this way. Okay, fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll get him. All right, there we go. We get the Olaf skin. So we get Festival and and the Olaf skin, which is kind of nice. Boom. Olaf is unlocked. All right, now we just do rerolls for the rest of the video, huh? That's what you guys are probably here to see. That's what I'm here to do. All right, Monarch Cogmore, 100 orange. Little slugger. Twitch and thingy. And I do own some of these skins already, by the way. So. Alright. Trindamir. I doubt he'll make an appearance. Again, I don't find him appealing whatsoever. So. 
Alright, these three. Boom. Hey! Nice! Battle Boss Ziggs. I do want to do a Ziggs episode. A Battle Boss is my favourite skin. Alongside with the Alchemist one or whatever it's called. I think that one's also really cool. Uh, Garen. Boom, boom. So I will say this episode has been really good for loot. Like, like that's even a nice skin. Wow! Uh, and we will do a Jinx episode. So this episode has been amazing uh, in terms of, like, quality of loot. We don't own Jinx yet, but we will eventually. We don't even own Caitlyn. But yeah, wow. I'm impressed with this episode. Um, we'll do that. I think we got one more reroll after this. Oh, we get a hex tech chest. El Reo Volibear. We get one more box that we can open. Let's open it, because why not? Kill it with fire. Disen Wait, I own Teemo. I didn't even know. Um, Alright, let's just do one more. It's probably not worth re-rolling these epic ones, but... Oh, well. Boom. Oh, God. <laughs> Draven, Draven. Um, and so yeah, we own a decent amount of champ. Like these are permanent skin shards that, and when we get the champion, we can unlock. For some reason, it didn't unlock that. So it, boom, I've now unlocked it. Redeem failed, so something's gone wrong with the the league servers. Uh, EU West is kind of breaking at the moment, so unfortunately, I'll unlock that later on when the EU West servers are better. I've also got to unlock Gragas myself um, because I want to do AP Gragas mid, and I was going to do in, in the jungle, so that's a good. Uh, champion to do an unrated diamond. So yeah, pretty damn good episode. Four gemstones, two revel bags, great skins for unranked to diamond. Um, don't know if we unlocked any champions because uh, again, that isn't really a thing anymore. Um, you unlock them with the blue essence. You don't re-roll champions, which I, I kind of miss. I don't know why they got rid of that myself. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a like on the video. This is probably going to be the last uh, Lunar Festival video that I do. Because these videos, I will say, they're expensive to make. And they don't make that much <laughs> comparing to gameplay videos. So you've also got, always got to be a little bit careful about the, the profit and loss with these. And again, I don't like to bring Brit business into it. But yeah, got to be a bit careful. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know down below. Have you had luck with these? Are you doing them? What was your favorite pull that we got in this video? Uh, but yeah, see you next time.